Hey friends, welcome to Wild at Home season two. I'm Richie. This is the Wild at Home kitchen. And today on season two, episode one, we're doing crab cakes. They may look difficult and fancy, but they're really incredibly easy, incredibly delicious. So we're gonna dive into that. But first thing, fish, we need to know what we're working with. So let's hit the freezer and see what our small boat fishermen have left for us, shall we? All right. Thanks, fishermen. We'll see you next time. Good luck out there. For our crab cakes, we're gonna be using two different types of seafood, dungy crab and Pacific cod. Both were responsibly caught by Sitka Salmon Share small boat fishermen and can be delivered straight to your doorstep each month as part of our community supported fishery. The dungy crab is a sweet, delicate meat with a briny, mild aroma. Great for everything from chowders to sushi and tacos. The Pacific cod is incredibly versatile, lean white fish with a mild taste and a delicate texture as well, which we're using today to help stretch out our dungy crab and act as a small supplement. For our crab cakes, we'll be making our own homemade mayo as a binder for the cakes, and then we'll be making an avocado dip as well, which I highly recommend you doing. So let's kick things off. Let's make that mayo. Mayo, you need a bowl. You need some oil. You need a little salt. You can option for a little white wine vinegar. You need a lemon and an egg. Oh God, of course. Hi guys. Hi, do you notice anything new about my hairstyle? Shows and anything new about my clothes. You guys notice she's got pigtails today? Mm hmm. I do, and some um, flowerish overalls. In other news, we're getting back to making one of the simplest of all the emulsions mayonnaise. Add two teaspoons of lemon juice, one teaspoon of white wine vinegar, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a quarter teaspoon of fine grain salt, and now crack an egg and separate out the yolk from the egg whites and add the yolk into the mixing bowl and whisk all of that until it's nice and frothy. Very slowly add oil while whisking to create the emulsion. I'm gonna whip and you just kind of drop just like that. That's perfect, okay? Wow, this is really helpful. So if you got a helper in the kitchen, they can be Incredibly useful. What are you staring at? Nothing. <laughs> Thinking about Keely? Mm -hmm. Keely from Hawk? Can I change the hands? Sure. Thanks. We're almost there, everyone. Don't give up now. Uh -huh. A couple more reps. Push through the burn, push through the burn, it burns. <sighs> done. We're done. We're done. Okay, so for that cool down coach Rishi suggests, we stretch out those sore muscles and work on making the avocado herb dip. For this, we're gonna need one avocado, a quarter cup fresh chopped cilantro, you can use both the leaves and the stems. A quarter cup plain yogurt, one tablespoon of homemade mayonnaise, one tablespoon freshly squeezed lime juice, one teaspoon champagne or white wine vinegar, but champagne is gonna be your better choice, you guys, for so many reasons, I don't have to say. A quarter teaspoon salt and a quarter teaspoon of your desired hot sauce. Pop. Good guys, now we are having the best introductory. We are getting it gone. We are, we are taking care of the show. We are doing it. We are squishing the, the, the terribleness out. This is the show that Richie and Wild and Home and Ever and the cover and Mom makes. This is our team. Woo! 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 Hey guys, we're Wild. We're home, right? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> okay, now on to the big show, the ocean cupcake. First, let's take out our Pacific cod, pat it dry, and finally chop it in preparation for a quick pan fry. Make sure you chop consistently in order to make all the pieces approximately the same size so each bite is perfect. What I like about Dad most is he's sweet and kind, and he makes food when, 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 when he just wants other people to. He makes it anytime anyone doesn't want to. Mm. My heart's full. You filled up my bucket. 
Now that my bucket is full, let's saute the Pacific cod to give a similar texture to the pre-cooked crab we are using in the cakes. Once they have a little browning on all the sides, about two to three minutes, take them out and set them aside. Now for the crab prep. You don't need cracking tools. Uh, use evolution's greatest tool, uh, opposable thumbs. Break the crab at the joint, pull the tendon out, and then crack it and remove the meat. This goes smoother if the pre-cooked crab has been slightly warmed. And you can separate the dark meat from the white knuckle meat if you like. Crack the crab. Yeah. Oh! It is member mail time. Dear Wild at Home, that's us. Why is some of the claw meat in the crab a brownish color, and why do the crab shells have a greenish gray fur on the legs and the claws? Sincerely, Rob Anybody. Rob, let's get that question answered for you, Liggity Split, shall we? The Dungeness Crab. They belong to a group of animals called crustaceans. They are composed of an exoskeleton where ocean acidification threatens the marine. Don't do that one more time. Ooh, South Shore, show the Dungeness. The main cause of ocean San is the burning. A, a fried crustacean that supports theropods are the key component of the sand chain. food chain. Or a key component. It's not the. All right. So there you go. What's that now? I, I didn't answer the question even remotely. Yeah, that makes sense. So there's an enzyme in the, in the crab that uh, turns kind of a bluish black when you cook it. The furs around the claws, those are there because when it buries itself in the sand, it needs some sort of filtration system so that the sand doesn't all go in its body. There you go, that's it. Okay, so to start making the crab cake mixture, I'll pour a quarter cup breadcrumbs and then I'll set that aside. Then I'll take a celery stalk and finely chop. Then finely chop about the bottom six inches of a green scallion. Then roughly chop a few leaves and stems of parsley, about two tablespoons worth. A half a teaspoon lemon zest, two teaspoons Dijon mustard, and a quarter cup of that homemade mayo. If you didn't make it, go back and make it. It's worth it. Otherwise, Hellman's does the job too. Salt and pepper to taste, and then add in a quarter cup of that panko breadcrumb and mix. Then fold in your crab meat and mix evenly. Next, get out a baking sheet and a nonstick sheet or parchment paper to place on top. I'm using a cutting board. Now shape your cakes into even uniform rounds, place in the fridge, and let chill for about an hour. Okay. So these are gonna go in our fridge for about an hour. Well, there's lots of things you can do while you wait, right? Okay. <sighs> Ready? Here we go. An hour has passed, our crab cakes have chilled. We're gonna do a shallow fry, but before we do that, we're gonna have to set up a little bit of staging so that we're prepared when those cakes come out. Shall we do that? Okay. Okay, so start by adding a neutral oil into the pan about a quarter inch worth. It's important to use a high smoke point oil like canola or peanut so that you can fry at around 375 and not set off the fire alarm. With your remaining panko crumbs, bread and flip each of the crab cakes a couple times until they're completely covered. Once your oil's at temp, you can begin adding the cakes into the pan. After four minutes, you can flip, but not a second earlier. And flip. Once they're all flipped, wait another four minutes, then remove them from the oil, place them onto a plate with a paper towel on it. No one wants a soggy bottom. Go ahead and plate them, sprinkle a little flake salt, add a little lemon wedge, and bring back that creamy avocado dip from earlier. Now you've done it. You've just crabbed those cakes right proper. Good on ya. Well, not yet. Crab cakes, citrus, crunch, Delicious ocean crab, a little bit of tasty mayonnaise. And then you finish it off with this nice creamy avocado dip. It's a great pairing. Eat it for a meal, eat it for an appetizer. Remember, make your own mayo if you got time. Don't skip on that lemon. 
get a nice neutral high smoke point oil. Get everything chopped consistently so every bite is the same. And then uh, use some Pacific Cod if you want to stretch your crab out a little bit or lingcod or honestly any white fish that you can get. And you can get all those white fish and all that salmon at sickofsalmonchairs.com. So if you don't know what we do, who we are, we're a community supported fishery every month to your doorstep from April through December. Um, it's just a beautiful way to know where your fish is coming from and actually connect with your fishermen. And then a promo code for me to you is wild home, wild home, and get 25 bucks off your first month's share. I don't know what we're gonna do next, but as always, we will figure it out together. So stay tuned and stay wild. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see ya. Wild at Home is supported by members and viewers like you. Support also comes from Sitka Salmon Shares, a community-supported fishery bringing you a share of responsibly harvested wild Alaskan seafood straight to your doorstep from their collective of small boat fishermen. SitkaSalmonShares.com